my good people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, according to your time zone. You are welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your boy, Sunny Media. So what I want to talk uh, about today uh, may seem not to consign me anyway. The reason why I want to talk about it is that this thing now just happened to me in my nose. Like when I say something happened to me in my nose, like it means that it happens where I am. The thing made me feel some way. And that is why I want to bring it up here at least to also know what you think about it. Especially if you're a Ghanaian watching my video, you should know about this. And you can also enlighten me more, enlighten us all more about this. Whether the thing happens only in particular region in Ghana or it happens everywhere around Ghana, I don't know. I have not traveled to so many regions in Ghana though. I don't know about other regions. That is why at times I bring some topic up here to know what people have to say about it. That is why you see this comment section. I don't use it to joke. So anytime I draw video, especially video like like I want to know what people have to say about that matter for me to learn something, you get. So I usually concentrate on comment section to see what people have to say about this issue so that I will learn. This YouTube space, if you are counting people that read people's comments and replies to people's comments, you count me as number one. So if you know anything about this, if this thing is not happening around the whole Ghana, if it's only part of crowd, some regions in Ghana it happens, let me know in the comment section because it made me feel some way when I witnessed this thing happening right where I am. So, but guys, before we proceed to this, uh, I want you to visit this woman on her YouTube channel. She's a Nigerian woman, but married to a Ghana man. So, a Ghana man is her husband. Her YouTube channel name is Sister Blessing Kitchen. She basically cook. So, just visit her channel. Tell her that you are coming through Sunny Media channel. Subscribe to her YouTube channel. Support her, guys. So, let's dive into today's uh, matter, guys. It's about properties. Properties. Like, for instance, if you're a man, you, you married your wife, you give birth to your children, boys and girls, but you have properties like house, let me say for instance, house. Then you as the man, um, it's not you in particular, I'm not talking about, you are not going to die, please. So the, the man eventually dies. Then the man's sisters, the, the man's brothers, sisters, we come and claim demand properties instead of those properties to go to the children of that man and the wife of that man the man's sisters the brothers they will just come and claim those properties it's happening right now in ghana i've been witnessing it i don't know about other regions so but here in ashanti region i'm living is going on I don't know whether it's everywhere in Ashanti region though. You can see, let me know in the comment section if that, is, if that story is somehow or somehow not true or it's like that. Because the thing is makes me curious and wonder why, how? You're a man, you married your wife, your wife gave birth to, to children, boys and girls. And once the man dies, his properties will go to his uh, sisters or his brothers instead of going to his nearest sons and daughters and his wife and the reason why i brought this topic is because of the house i am living it happens right in the house i'm staying since i came to the house the man has been sick you know their mother has died a long time left with the father so right now the father has finally died they buried him, did the funeral. Then, three months time, or four months time, the, the sisters of the man came to our the, to the house and I'm staying. They all came, you know, with a lot of people, you know, like kind of thing. They gather, talking about the man's properties, how to share them right in front of me this thing is happening that is why i said this thing don't so i don't supposed to talk about it because it seems not to concern me but because the, this one happened to me like happened to where i am like hey i hope 
open my eyes. Out. This man in question, his children, they are still alive. He has boys, girls. Like in a normal circumstances, those boys and girls, they're supposed to share their father's properties. But the whole thing is not going the other way around. Some came from their husband's place. Oh. Some, some of them have married. They came out from their husband's place to the man's house, dragging the properties that the whole property will be shared among them all. After the meeting they had, they asked us all and as the tenant to evacuate, like to evacuate the house. Like, as I'm speaking to you right now, the whole tenant don't japa, everybody don't go. It left only me because I begged them, please, I have no money to locate yet. And the house I'm relocating to, I don't know the amount they'll be calling. So please, oh, I know that it is only me that left. No, it's not only me. Another person too, yes. This uh, Kwame, yeah. left with me with another person, yes. So we begged that we have to, you know, plan very well for us to see if we can get money to relocate. So they asked us to evacuate the house because it's like they want to share it to know who will be the landlord maybe if this is my room now they now give this my room to the man one of the man's sister and one of the man's sister maybe she'll be the one to collect in the house rent of this place or she will pack inside or something like that that's how they want to do it this made me to bring this topic here guys is it happening the whole Ghana? The whole, I gotta say, oh, or is it or is only a particular region that this thing is happening? I don't understand. Because, come to think about it, guys, let's reason. This man had children, and the children, they are all alive, boys and girls, so not only girls. Are they not supposed to be the people to collect all their father's properties? Was it supposed to go to other people? Apart from the children, I want to know more about this because you know Nigeria. In Nigeria, the only way a uh, man's uh, people will come and claim the man's property when he dies is that when the woman, the wife of the man, did not bear any children, the man's uh, people, the man's brothers, sisters, they will come and claim all the man's properties. Or if the woman did not bear a male child. Even if the, the woman did not be a measure, even if the woman be, be a uh, female children, still the, the woman can go to court and wins the, the man's family. Again, that the properties will not go to them. It will go to the daughters because what will she use to train those daughters? But where it, will, it usually gets harder is that when the, the, the woman did not be a male child. It's under probability and under possibility that the man's family will come and claim their brother's properties. But if the woman is able to get male child, oh my God, she's strong in the man's properties. That is how it is done in Nigeria. Would I say the whole Nigeria? Because I don't know about other tribes in Nigeria or whether they are doing the same thing or, but I'm talking about Igbo. Igbo tribes. I don't know about Chaosa, Yoruba. I don't know much about them. But I think, I believe they do the same thing too. The properties of the man goes to the children, not to the man's brothers or sisters. But I found out here in Ghana that once the man dies, the properties, the house will be shared among all the both, including the man's uh, sisters cause <laughs> I don't know. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Is this supposed to be like this or something has to be done about these guys? Be hearing that too that some people will intentionally like want to you know remove the man's life and so that the man will go so that they will be able to claim his properties. 
I am not sure because I have not seen where it happens allegedly. But in this comment section, I will know whether it is true or false. But if it is true, <laughs> and this thing is Lego in Ghana, my dear, the Ghana government should do something. No? Please. The man's properties are supposed to go to the man's children, not any other people. That is how it's supposed to be now. Oh, what do you think, guys? Let's share this thought in the comment section. I want to hear what you want to say about this. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.